Hi, Charles from Interfidelity here at The Show Newport 2015. I'm in the Lynx Technology, Lynx Studio Technologies booth with Phil Moon. Hi, Phil. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Uh, let's, uh, let's do a little tour of your device here, which is pretty cool. Uh, what are we talking about here? What we're talking about here, this is a Hilo. Hilo is an A to D D-Day converter with a really nice headphone amplifier. This was designed uh, specifically for mastering engineers, but also has for functionality and audio quality that's great for audio files. So this is a, a D to A, A to D, right? Uh, both. So it's a DAC, you can play your files off your computer. The A to D part is nice because you can take analog files and you get them into your computer. If you have vinyl, you want to... You want Record to, vinyl, yeah. If you want to do have old tapes, you want to get in, or even you want to do live recording. So when, it, when you when you do tape the when you uh, rip the vinyl, mm -hmm. uh, does this thing output a file, or does it just take the stream and send it to your computer, and your computer does that? What, where is the actual like wave file made or FLAC file made? So this is going to generate a digital file that's going to go to your computer. It's either by USB or Thunderbolt, your choice. Then you're going to have an application in your computer that's going to do the, the, the saving and so on. Ah. And that's where you're going to choose. You want 44.1, you want 192 kilohertz. You know, what, what level of, of resolution do you want? Okay. 24-bit. Sounds great. Okay. We also have a touch screen. This is one of the things that makes this unit unique. This is a real-time analyzer, so this is a 30-band stereo real-time analyzer, great for the pros. If you don't like that, you can go old school to analog. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got analog. Uh, if you want to see what's going on horizontal, this is more of a, a different menu. You have your choices of what sources you want to have on the meters, and the all I/O page. This shows. Uh, I got fat fingers here today. All I/O shows all the channels you have available and what's going on with them. Right. You get into control, and you have the output mix routing page. This looks daunting, but it essentially allows you to take any input to any output. Right. You make and, it as simple or complicated as you want. And what I remember from playing around a couple of minutes ago, you could just listen to the left channel, listen to the right channel, sum them together, mono. So this thing's got just an amazing amount of control in, in it. It does. It's got a 32 by 32 inch internal mixer that allows you to send any input to any output at any level. Hmm. I mean, it really is a powerful machine. So you can get as deep as you want to with it. You've got AES EBU in and out. You have SPDIF in and out. You have analog in and out. And you have 16 channels to and from your computer. Hmm. you got sample rates from 44.1 up to 192. Cool. Get a picture of the back, lots of knobs and switches back there, or yeah, the connectors, I mean. Right. Cool. All right, Phil, well, uh, and what's the price of this? $24.95 with USB and $27.95 with Thunderbolt. Cool. And it's Mac or PC, designed and built in the U.S. All right, well, thanks a lot, Phil. A very interesting uh, device indeed. I had a lot of fun sitting down playing with it. Okay, thanks, Ty. All right, we'll see you guys at the next boot.